Hi everyone, it's Sue and welcome to my channel today. Today I'm going to do a, just a quick little collage piece to go in my expandable tissue box journal which I did make um, and do a video of a similar one recently so I will link that down below in the description box. I'm going to start using this one first and then I'll work on the next one. So I'm going to take a page out and it is very simple because simply have to undo the sari silk uh, binding and choose a page. Now I'm thinking I might actually just use the plain cardboard one simply because um, I don't really want to bother with the gesso for those ones which I might actually do um, just have them ready prepared. Okay so now the trick with mine is to make sure that I actually have it up the right way because the holes uh, were not even from the top to the bottom so it goes that way. Okay, so I've just got some bits and pieces, some scrap bits that I've collected out of my uh, paper scrap box. Um, I really, I like this. I kept this piece because it's got those holes in it and it just adds a little bit of interest. Uh, this was just some scrapbooking paper that uh, looks like it's been semi, semi coffee dyed or something spilled on it. Um, I have some of the Tim Holtz paper dolls. And I might just bring you up a little bit. And I've just got some other scraps here. I've got some coffee dough paper. And I do have a little bit of this corrugated uh, card, which I uh, might see if I can pull some more of that off and show a little bit more of that. Quite like that. Uh, without wrecking it too much. Um, and I do have a few little odds and ends around on my desk as well that I might grab. So I'm just going to put together a little collage actually um, and I don't know, I might just put a bit of gesso on the background just smearing it on with my finger like so, nothing too, I don't want to cover the whole background but just to give it a little bit of interest. So it's just not a plain piece of cardboard. But I'm not actually too fussed about that, to be honest. Okay. Okay, make sure I've got a baby wipe out. Alright. Uh, now, let me see. I think I'll pop that in the background. So I might just move that to one side while it dries. While I have a look at what I'm going to do here. And I want to get the textures of all these bits and pieces, so I'm thinking something like that. What else we got? Now I don't think that this is going to, I might have to tear this down a little bit. So I'm just going to tear it down with the ruler. Because these two are sitting, I kind of feel like I need to have them sitting on something. So I've got this bit of paper here. I might just slide that under like so. I think that, yep, I think I like that. And I'll just tear some of this. Don't really want to think too much about it. Just going to pop it together as a little layered piece. Now I like the holes in this one, so maybe I might tuck that under there, I think. Something like that. Now, now that's going to be too wide, so tear that off. Okay quite like that. I'm just wondering if I should put this underneath here. No, I don't think I will. I think I might leave it like that. Okay, I'm going to glue that down. Uh, I might distress the edges of everything as I'm gluing. I don't always when I do collages, but I think I might with this one. Okay. 
hope everybody is well at the moment. Life is treating you well, treating you good. I'm not throwing too many challenges your way. Um, I think a lot of the time these days we don't need those extra challenges. Sometimes normal life itself, just the everyday can be a challenge. <laughs> without having those extra sort of bits and pieces. I know with me, um, quite often, if things are going really well, it's almost like you wait for something not to go well. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see. Glue would be useful here. All right. Now, this is the challenge for me, remembering how it went. Now, I'm going to try and fit it onto the page, obviously. actually have with me some uh, this cobalt, cobalt turquoise light hue paint which um, I might do something with I chose that one because it kind of tones in a little bit with those the hexagons on this piece of paper yeah I think this would be next I think it went like that might have to tear that a little bit smaller actually Not that it really matters. I mean, you can have it sticking out the side of your page if you want. That also can add to the journal as well. Okay. Now, just to make sure I'm getting these where they should be. What I'm thinking is up here. I could write um, the sentiment or, or stick a sentiment there. Not that I have one in mind, but I'm sure I'll find one. Now, because that's a little bit thick there, it sort of isn't so much there, but it should be fine. The reason that, one of the reasons I created this particular journal was so that I would actually have somewhere to put some of the more uh, dimensional collages that I like to do. I find that if you do too many in your normal art journal, they're just, it just gets too thick. <laughs> And I've, I've found that I'm only using, you know, half the journal, if that, in some cases, which um, I find a little frustrating, I have to say. I think I'll pop that a little bit more. Okay. All right, so that's, I hope you were able to see that. I've just realised I was a little bit further over. Okay, now I do have a bit of gesso, so I'm just thinking, just lightly. Don't want to put too much. bit of this paint. Just so it tones in some of the elements with that main paper that I've used. So it's really quite dry on my finger. I'm just brushing it on. Okay, and yeah, what I might do is continue it down here. And up here. As well. Okay, quite happy with that. And now I'm going to have a quick look for some sentiments and I will be right back. 
Okay, now these ones are Tim Holtz ones. I'm not sure which ones because I don't have the packaging anymore. Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Love is spontaneous. Okay, I think that one will be good with this one, with this couple. Okay, so I'm going to pop that. Actually, before I pop that down, let's see if I can pop something underneath that. I do have some of these things that I've made a little while ago. Um, see if I've got one that's a bit smaller than that in my little scrappy jar. What's that one? That one might be better. Yep, I think that will do. Okay, I'm going to put a bit of glue because I don't know how well this will stick onto that fabric. And then we'll stick that on there. And voila, there we go. Really happy with that. So that's my first page for my little uh, expandable tissue box journal. So I'm going to pop that in there when it's totally dry. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I might actually do some gesso on some of the other pages. These cardboard ones that... Um, I can use later. You don't have to gesso them. You could also put um, some coffee dyed paper or book pages, collage the whole thing with book pages, which actually I might do with one of them. So just getting that off. What I will probably do is I probably won't put um, any more blank pages in there. I'll wait till it's actually finished. I think that will be easier. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you again another time. Bye for now.